Chris Dellinger from uh, High Springs, Florida, and this is our 2021 Braxton Creek Free Solo. All right. Okay, so for entertainment purposes, we've actually got a projector that we can mount right here. We have a screen that we just roll up and drop down so that we nice. can watch, you know, big screen TV, and it works out really good. Uh, then we put a Blue Eddy over here in the cabinet so we charge our phones and our watches and they're not hanging all over the place and wires everywhere. Works out pretty good. Other than that, we haven't done a lot of mods inside except for change to an electronic AC with remote control. All right, so this is uh, the tongue box we added. I guess first and foremost, you can see we put a jacket uh, bicycle carrier here for when we want to carry the bikes. I have uh, put my refrigerator in my box so that I could access it pretty easily. I have a, uh, the house battery, and then I have a lithium battery. Uh, I have two chargers because I have an external um, solar panel that I can put off to the side if I need to, but I've got the permanently mounted panel on the top. Very nice. Do you have electric hookups for this site? Uh, we do. All right. So, and if this gets low, we're getting plenty of sun, so I'm pretty sure it's not low. Really smart. And it's a Bluetooth battery, so I can check to see what the charge is. Sure. And you drop the fridge. I see some corner trims up here. And you notice he painted the top of his box white. That's a nice cheap mod that works really well. Uh, nice. See, it's very cold. Excellent. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice. Mounting the solar was pretty easy. Uh, I just used the cargo carrier, repurposed uh, from our truck that we used to carry stuff on the back or van, whatever. And uh, we can put storage stuff up there, floor mats, whatnot. Very nice. I see he's got hinges on there so we could chase the sun a little bit if yep. he has to. The other thing that I noticed is that he turned the stock cargo carrier on the bushwhacker upside down. So the lip is going down, put spacers by the frame, and that gives you a lot more space to mount a bigger box. Have you had any trouble backing up jackknifing? Actually, I have an extension on the back of the RAV4, and it has just enough extension with the rack, or the uh, trailer hitch that I use, that it isn't a problem. Very nice, it probably helps you back up too. It does. <laughs> uh, Very cool, well, let's check out the galley. Yeah, the galley's not a lot different, mainly just the, uh, do have our Brandon Sanderson uh, quote on the back. I don't know if you're a Sanderson Very fan, nice. but we just added the IKEA uh, drawer set up and keep all my knives organized. This is really nice. And by finding a solution to get the fridge up front, uh, you know, the storage back here is key. Sometimes yeah. I think about doing that myself, but all of the nice accessories here, I see you're going with an, uh, uh, some galley tunes. That's yes. A, that's not standard. We got tired of the uh, having to switch from inside and not being able to control what we were doing. So I found a multimedia player and it, I had to space it out a little bit. You can see I added a piece of plywood. I haven't really been able yeah. to finish it yet. Um, and then the speakers actually sound good with the Sony stereo. I yeah, was I know. I, as long as you bang the sawdust out of them, right. they sound halfway decent. I see you did a little plumbing work here. Uh, yeah, this is our fancy schmancy uh, brass, copper, and... Very nice. Works out pretty good. It's what she wanted, so that's what we got. Yeah, no, this is different. Just a little... And yeah. then you can use that to attach and spray a hose back here. Absolutely. And... Very nice. No, I like that. Yep. And then this we keep is, uh, our. Uh, this is a magnet? Yep. Okay. And we just keep all of our electrical cords and um, the vacuum cleaner and uh, nice. the hose in these bags so that they're always easy to find and well organized. I'm getting a lot of ideas here. Now, tell me what that little guy is. <laughs> that is a toaster <laughs> oven that we just saw at a restaurant or a. a retail store you guys take turns one piece of toast at a time uh, you know we just <laughs> it, we didn't have anything to bake anything with but yeah that's yeah. basically the idea all right let me back this camera up so all right works pretty good very similar table it yeah we like have three all... of these so that we can do different things now we've been seeing a lot of these arb touring uh the annex room and the 
awning. How do you make out with this? You like this? We do. We actually uh, use it for our storage. Um, everything that we bring camping, rather than trying to keep it in the car or keep it in the camper, we just uh, get a closed drying rack in there. Very nice. And we got an extra refrigerator in there that There's we just a, keep in the car if we're, you know, we can a, take it in and out. Got a fan in there so that we yeah, can. Yeah, it feels really good in here. It's nice and cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, it, this really makes a difference with long term camping. Um, uh, yes. You know, I went with the external canopy, but these awnings, I'm seeing so many of them in person. This is really nice. And this right here, must have. <laughs> <laughs> must have. We're going to try to find something different because these hold dirt real bad. But. Yeah, I know mine does too, but just keeping it out of your bed sheets in these tiny campers yep. is. <clears throat> Now this little set, these look like uh, Japanese lanterns, but this is a solar. Yes. All right, Amazon? Uh, actually, we got them at uh, the Christmas store. No, okay, yeah. there we go. That's the first time I've heard that this weekend. Uh, all right, so you have to get those in person. Yeah, or you, you maybe could probably you can get them on, on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. All right, very cool. Well, I love the trailer. Um, we're you. seeing a lot of free solos. So this ARB, came with your trailer it did in fact and then this was a separate purchase yes that's correct okay do you that now the free soul also has a rear hitch have that's you used correct. that rear hitch we have but we found that if you put too much weight back there you get the 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 it's picking up on your tongue correct so that is a huge concern for anybody who has small trailers with a rear trailer hitch you either play the balance game and get your scales out. I mean, he's got a bike rack here, so you could definitely balance the trailer. Correct. But if you go putting your firewood back there, it picks up on your hitch and that can get pretty dangerous pretty Absolutely. fast. And that's why we put the extra battery up here and uh, we put the bike rack up here so that if we do want to put something on the back, it's less of an issue. Nice. Now, my last question is going to be with your dual battery setup. I do these a lot for people, but you have separate systems. One is for the lithium and one is for the sealed lead That's acid. That's correct. So if you want to take care, uh, take advantage of the lithium on the discharge side, but you're not actually charging that from the converter or the tow vehicle. Correct. Very cool it's, system. And driving down the highway, it usually charges 100%, even using the refrigerator. So. This is the beauty of fixed solar. It, we're not going to be able to chase the sun as much, but he has the option for portable solar as well. Correct. But this thing is charging. I know mine charged the whole way down I-81. It was it was full by noon. So. Yeah, my, mine was full the whole way. It was full when I left, and it, when I got here, it was 100%. Very cool setup. We will uh, we'll do a video on some of these dual battery setups because I think there's a real advantage to doing this. Yes, well, and if it does get low when we're camping in the shade, because Florida has a lot of shade at the campsites, and thankfully, um, I just bought a, a Vtronics charger that does lithium batteries and I just plug it in and charge it up. Is it way. the blue or the smart? The smart, I believe. Okay, so that's got the app as well. That's what I'm Well, it doesn't right have Bluetooth, but... Oh, then it's probably the blue charger. Okay. The blue yeah. charger doesn't have Bluetooth. <laughs> okay, then it's the blue charger. <laughs> but yes. the smart charger has yeah. the Bluetooth app, but very nice device and they really, uh, they equalize out the cells and everything. It's top notch. Right, it's, yeah, it was a little pricey and it's only five amps, I think, but... I went with the 15. And I, I should have. <laughs> Let's see, I have it here. There it is. Let's see. So it's a five amp. That yeah. does have the app. Oh, okay. Oh, it does, doesn't it? When I'll it have says to get it. Yeah. yeah. When, and uh, I, it's on the phone I'm record, recording with right now. But okay. the ones that say smart have the the Bluetooth app. Okay. So very cool device. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you letting me. Uh, Thank you. Check out the site and let's, we're going to go off and see some more bushwhackers and free solos. Yeah, so I installed this piece of vinyl so that it would cover up the hinge and keep it from leaking in, but I cut it off at an angle and I should have left it straight. And uh, it does definitely deflect a lot of the water, but because I cut it off, it tends to want to run inside on the vinyl. So he picked up this marine vinyl at Joanne's, like the fabric store. And what we're talking about, most bushwhacker owners know this, with just a little bit of overhang here, you can gutter the water out while your galley door is up and it's raining. What did you fix with? I used double stick Gorilla Tape. So double stick Gorilla Tape, and it looks like you came back over it? With silicone. With silicone. Yeah, RTV. Very sweet. I used clear. 
and then you can see my uh, truck tail light. You know, they have oh, those yeah, tail lights go. that go underneath, and I just wired it in. It's kind of rigged on the side here, but but I wired it in the tail lights, and so now we have a high mounted stop lamp with turn signals. Very nice.